Okay guys, we are back. It's been 13 days since I had the fruit and veg in the swag bag and in the crisper. And I wanted to, yeah, show you what it's all looking like now. And just a little side note, about a week into our test, our challenge, I went into the crisper and found that the herbs were already really wilted and pretty sad looking. And I compared them to the herbs and the shallots in the swag bag and they were really lovely and crisp and beautiful. So even after one week, I have to say the swag bag was definitely doing better than the crisper was. And I did make a couple of accidental mistakes in my time period. I, number one, accidentally used the lettuce that was left in the crisper. And I also accidentally used the shallots that were in the swag bag. So <laughs> I wanted to be honest with you and upfront that I did accidentally use those things. So I can't comment on those, but I can say that after a week, those shallots were looking amazing in the swag bag. All right. So let's do these ones that are here on the bench. These actually are our crisper items. So these are the shallots. These have been in for the 13 days and yeah, they're looking pretty sad, pretty limp and yeah, dry. And you can even hear the little crispy sounds there. I could hack off those ends and maybe use them in a soup or something, but I would not want to be putting any of that in a salad. Maybe the very tips, the ends, I mean, I would put, possibly put in a salad. So unfortunately, I don't have the shallots to compare with out of the swag bag, but I would say they would be a lot better than this because they look dreadful and they were looking pretty bad even after that one week. All right, what about this broccoli? It doesn't look too bad. Hey, it's like a Barbie doll. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> it can batter each other. Hello. <laughs> it's looking pretty bad, pretty rubbery. I really truly would not eat this broccoli. Let's find the broccoli that I've got in the swag bag. Wow, what a difference. That's crunchy. That is, I'm serious. I can't even snap that. I can't even snap that one. But that is crunchy. That's like a brand new piece of broccoli. That is so cool, what a difference. Wow, that's really quite significant. All right, broccoli. One point to the swag bag. All right, what are we gonna do? We'll do some cucumbers. Ooh, this is looking really soft and really gross. And mm, I would not be eating that cucumber. And here was one that remember we cut one up and wanted to see what, how it did. Okay. Ooh, it's juicy in there. So that's gonna be a, a no for 13 days worth of cucumber in the crisper. What have we got over here? Okay, this cucumber's looking a little interesting as well. Keeping in mind, it has been cut for 13 days and I would just never do that ever, but I'm gonna cut the little bit of festiness off the top and I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna taste it. That's just like a brand new, oh, the other one. brand new. One. My husband wants me to try this one. I'm gonna wash it first. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut this one off, cut the same bit off. In terms of firmness, mm, similar-ish. All right, I'll, I'll have a little taste. Yeah, it, oh, ooh, it's a little interesting. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was not the greatest. I gotta get the swag bag the point. I'll give the swag bag the point though. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go for some fruit. Let's like check out some fruit. All right, these are the sultanas. Well, I shouldn't say sultanas, they're grapes, but they're kind of becoming a bit like sultanas. <laughs> they're getting a bit dehydrated and they're very soft. These are, see, can you see the movement there? They're very soft and squishy. All right, that's the crispers sultano grapes. But these ones, wow, these ones, they feel like they've just been bought. This is 13 days, this is crazy. These ones are so firm, so firm. Wow, try truly, truly wouldn't, oh, they want me to try. Oh, I don't even know which one looks good to try. Ooh. 
I suppose it's only going to be wine, isn't it? Mm. Okay, this is a crisper one. The taste is okay. It's just really soft, really soft. Okay, I'll just try one of these ones out of the swag bag. Oh, so much better. That's crispy like I just bought it. It's 13 days old. That's crazy. All right, moving on. Carrot. We cut carrot. Look at the difference. That's pretty cool. That's 13 days. This one looks like I just literally just cut it. And that one is really dry. Oh, wow. This one, look, I can really, ooh, I can bend it. Let's cut it a bit. Even bendy things, I'll like try and figure out a way to eat it. Smells all right. I'd put it in a soup, but I, I don't want to crunch onto that one. But this one, I reckon I could even crunch. I'm going to even bite the bit that was cut because it, it just truly just looks fine. It's a little tiny bit dry though. It's fine. 13 days. All right. Swipe bag. Guess another point. All right. We cut up our capsicum, our bell pepper here in the States. And I actually had to cut a little bit off the one in the crisper and a little bit off the one in the swag bag because I needed it for a recipe and I'd run out of my bell peppers. So this one was just covered in glad wrap, just some cling wrap. And the bit that I cut originally is here on the left and it's looking pretty funky. Whew, that's pretty scary. I It's firm-ish. It's just got a lot of soft pockets in there. I'd have to cut a fair bit of that off. Honestly, I don't even know if I would use it. Okay, so that's the one out of the crisper. Now here's the one out of the swag bag. It also went pretty, pretty iffy, a bit iffy there on the side. But I will say the degree of iffiness is um, less. <laughs> I, would, I would be happy to cut this dodgy bit off and still eat this one. Whereas this one, I don't know. Maybe I could eat the little bit at the back. That's about it. So honestly, this one, I'm going to give them both a zero because it really didn't, neither of them really lasted for the full 13 days. So I'm going to say they both get a zero for that one. But we were being very mean with that test. That was a 100% tricky test because it was cut and everything. And I would never, ever, ever use capsicum, like, you know, wait two weeks to use capsicum. I would use it that week, you know. All right. What's our next one? Let's do the mushrooms. I was going to do the herbs. But they're kind of a fun one at the end. So I wanted to be fair, I made sure that I did keep my mushroom in the crisper in the mushroom bag because they do weep and it absorbs that moisture. So this one is straight out of the crisper and it's getting a little bit soggy in the middle and um, yeah, pretty dry looking. I'll peel off a little bit of the skin there. Oh, strong. I don't know if I'd still use that mushroom. Looks a little interesting. All right, let's, let's find our mushroom. He was here in the dry bag, keeping that in mind. Okay. Wow. Okay, so this one doesn't have the interesting smell. It's still quite dry. You notice mm. it's still quite dry on the underside, on the, on the outside there. If I peel off some of that skin there. Smells all right. Okay, so okay. it smells a lot fresher. This one has a really strong smell because it's starting to weep and go soft in the middle. There are no soft patches at all, at all in the swag bag one. So it is a little dry, I will say that. But once again, I wouldn't wait so long realistically to eat mushrooms. But peeling off that dry skin, I would be happy. I'm still happy to use that mushroom. I would still use that. So I'll give one point to the swag bag. Okay, let's take a look at our herbs. These are the ones out of the crisper. First, we have some flat leafed parsley. It's not looking too bad, but when you hold it up, you can see it's pretty, pretty limp and it's lost a lot of its crispiness, but okay for probably for a soup. And this is coriander or cilantro if you're in the States. This just is just really sad. Oh, it doesn't even, oh, it's just not, mm, not good. It's, <laughs> I'm just thinking it looks like, 
<laughs> like hair. <laughs> okay, sorry, CRISPR, eh, no good. Let's see what the swag bag did. All right, so here's my parsley. I'm holding it out. It's holding out better. Let's see, let's compare. We'll put this. It's definitely got more strength in that stem. I wonder if it's still got a crack, if I can crack it. Yep. Still cracking. And those leaves look a lot happier, but they're not super happy because they have been in there for quite a while. But not too bad. I'm definitely going to say it's a win over, 100% over the crisper, because in the crisper, no joke, these looked like this after only a few days. They were very sad. And then this is the coriander. And yeah, it's definitely looking greener. It's not as dry. Does it have a smell still? It's lost a fair bit of its of its fragrance. So I'm definitely going to say that the swag bag gets the thumbs up for herbs, but obviously you still want to be using them fairly quickly. Okay, I did mention that I accidentally ate the lettuce out of the crisper. And I don't know what lettuce is normally like in yours, but mine doesn't last very long unless I double bag it, which is a trick I was taught a number of years ago. But this is the cos lettuce that I had in the swag bag. And it wasn't rinsed or anything. I just put it straight in so you can still see dirt and things like that on it. But this is after the 13 days and it's still crispy, like really crispy. Crispy lettuce and it's not floppy at all. So. Definitely a thumbs up for lettuce in the swag bag. And I'll just tip out these last greens. I did have a little bit of rocket that I had in there. I'm trying to fish it out and find it. It's, oh look, wow, look at that piece of parsley. That's not even bendy at all. Wow, that's pretty cool. But here's some rocket. Yeah, I'm finding the rocket loses its color pretty quickly. These are the rocket. Ooh, that doesn't smell very good to me at all. Yeah, I'm going to say it's a thumbs down for the rocket. But if we have a look over here with the crisper, it's also a thumbs down for the crisper rocket. I just had it in a bag. It wasn't actually in the crisper. I couldn't fit it. It was just double bagged on a shelf and it's just gone yellow and it actually doesn't smell very good at all. So swag bag and crisper or shelf in double bags is a thumbs down for the rocket. I'm just going to encourage people if you're going to have rocket or loose leafed greens, try and eat them quickly. But after the first week, they were fine in the bag, in the swag bag. So it's just this extended period was a little too long for them. Now, I think that may be everything in my swag bags. Yeah, I think that's everything. I wanted to mention I did just repurpose an old Windex spray bottle which I cleaned out and just put water in it and every couple of days I went into the fridge and just felt the bags that they felt dry. I just spritzed them like this and popped them straight back in again. You can just basically spritz all the sides. As you can see they do get a little bit dirty so you just put them in the wash with a vegetable based washing powder or washing detergent. If you use a standard one, they just recommend you use a vinegar rinse to make sure you get all the chemicals out before you put your veggies in. Overall, I have to say that the swag bags turned out to be brilliant. They absolutely won this competition, hands down. Anyone out there who wants to save money, reduce plastic in their fridge and make sure that you don't have to throw away any fruits and veggies to at least check out the link below. And I hope that you gain as much pleasure out of them as I did. And although I am not sponsored by a swag bag, they did very graciously gift me these swag bags for me just to give them a try. And I'm really appreciative of them for doing that. All right, guys, so make sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos and make sure to share the video with a friend. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.